Young Minds book curious ones. Right now, there's a lot, not a lot of clarity. There's a lot of hard things going on. Mordecai Posner knows there's a war going on between Israel and Hamas. Each night when his family lights a new candle, he remembers this. There's been a bit more of an emphasis of spreading the light since it's more crucial now. Spreading the light in a time of darkness. That's the core message Southern Connecticut Hebrew Academy is teaching its students. It's applicable to the war, but teacher Mora Hadassah finds it's important to carry that message into each and every day. Even in the classroom alone, just say that nice comment, help out that friend, study with that girl even if you normally wouldn't mm -hmm. do that little act and you don't understand you don't see the change that it does but mm -hmm. that's what brings the the goodness into the world even as students focus on kindness they're faced with current events that bring on confusion and doubt cell phones or tv or radio or you know it's just something that kids are really picking up rabbi shia hecht the head of school says students are asking why but when answering that complex question he tries to share without inflicting fear we're a nation based on faith Mm -hmm. and we're a nation based on our history that we went through and weathered the tough times and we've had good and bad and if this is part of the cycle then we accept it and we move on. As both educators and parents navigate hard-hitting questions during Hanukkah they remember the symbolization behind the menorah. We light each night of Hanukkah one candle first night second night we do two we continue ascending in all matters of light and, and, and dispelling of darkness. And that's really the message. In Orange, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.